Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Mourinho Challenge. Now before we get started of course make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more great content like this. But let's jump into it. We have got the last game of the season now against Alaves. We will be, well, we've survived, we've, we've made it to the Champions League. That's what we can say. We've, we're fourth. It's not been great but we have had a turnaround of form. Uh, we have started to get into a good bit of form after our defeat against Valencia in the final of the Spanish Cup, which was unfortunate. But a good win against Real Betis, good win against Real Madrid, which was 4-0. Absolutely fantastic win, actually, to be honest. Um, then 3-0 against Villarreal, 3-1 against Vigo, and a 2 draw against Lagans um, leaves us with the Alaves game. I'm hoping that that's a sign of the players getting used to the tactic that we use in, which is a 4-3-3 vertical tiki taka um so it's a bit more forward momentum forward pressing forward thinking um but let's jump into the game straight away let's get into it um it is a case that we have had a lot of injuries as you can see a lot of players needing rest that sort of thing and like i say as we're already in the um champions league there's no point risking it so we've just mixed things around a bit to so stay getting goal castan geraldo linglet and zinchenko at the back nico bellingham gabby in the midfield with akamak Pedri and Marlon up top. So let's jump into the game straight away uh, and get going with the game. Uh, this should be a game that we should win reasonably comfortably. Um, there's no real reason why we shouldn't be winning this, uh, to be honest, as we are the favourites and we're fourth. And I think they're like bottom or something. Or they've just escaped relegation, actually, thinking about it. I don't know. But they've got a Marty, Park, Basic few big names in there um but yeah where are they yes so they have just well it looks like they might just escape relegation if they do well today so i mean it should still it will still be a challenge but we should still be able to comfortably get a win but here we go um alaves with the short free kick it's, it's one off the training ground borkovic receiving it ball comes back in araujo does head clear though uh, and it looks like Ilias might be able to get to that. No, he doesn't. Pons plays it into Kanichowski, um, who comes forward again. Basic. Keep, they're keeping the ball very, very well. Navarro um, looks for Basic again, but Lenglet's able to cut that out. And now Pedri looks straight forward into Marlon, who's got the beating of his man for pace. Can he finish it? He can't. Pacheco saves. Uh, it does fall straight back to Marlon, who might look to, again, play another ball in. Ilias back to Nico, who shoots, is blocked. Uh, and looks like it will go out for, in fact, a throw-in. And Alaves are coming forward again. De La Fuente receiving it on that side now. Kaczynski, Kanichowski, uh, unable to get to that. And we cut it out nicely. Elias loses the ball straight away. Isn't able to find a pass. And, and the ball do, is lost. Nico does very well there. Two challenges to keep get that ball back to Castange. And we're able to then look to make that move again Castan again on that right hand side into Nico back to Araujo who looks out wide to Castanj again he looks forward this time to Ilias who then cuts inside plays into Gavi who straight away finds the overlap of Castan and here we go we are really coming forward now ball comes in Pedri on the first time is volleyed over the bar but that is some lovely football it's great what we it's just what we want to see uh, and hopefully that continues with some more efforts on goal for us to create some great chances. And Langlet wins that header. Gavi plays in Marlon, uh, who again turns, finds Pedri. He's got a... Oh, it looks like it's got to be a penalty, surely. He's come in. He's not touched the ball. They were able to then win the ball, but that was only after the foul. Um, and it's got to be a penalty, surely. Unless he's saying that we've dived, and then I'll be flipping fuming, because there is no way that's a dive. Why would he? Penalty awarded. There you go. We have got the pen. Let's get this in. Give us the 1-0 lead. Everything's a bit more comfortable then. Uh, and we should be good to go. But Daniel Marlon steps up to take it. Can he finish? He does. Bottom left-hand corner. We haven't got Barbosa on. Gabby's not going to be able to take the penalty off him. So Daniel Marlon proves that he can take him himself. Uh, and with that, gets his sixth goal of the season, which is great. Uh, with 10 minutes to go till half time, it's good to be 1-0 up. Um, but they will have to come, means they will have to come out um, and, and attack us a bit more to get any chance of winning. But with that, it means that we get a bit more of a free space going forward because they'll be throwing a few more men forward. Basic with the ball plays back to Armati, who will then look for. Oh, I'm yawning. I do apologise. Um, <laughs> not a great ball forward, meaning that we receive it again. 
Stegen's got loads of time now just to just to weigh up his options. Decides to roll it out to Raujo, which is probably the best decision. Castange into Bellingham and a Ben Bellingham into Nico. Lifts it forward. Marlon through. I mean, he's just run through the centre of him. He shoots. I mean, he's got to be scoring. He should have had at least two goals by now um, with the options he's had. But Gabby looking to take the corner. Ball comes in. Back post. Marlon again he heads over the bar. The amount of opportunities that man's had. We should be three or four up. Castange again coming forward. Five minutes before half time. Ilias. Is that penalty again? It looks like it might be. Ilias is fouled by Juart. We could have a second penalty for a second goal. I mean, we deserve to be more in the lead, but I think a penalty is a bit... Shouldn't just be getting penalties and having to score those. It should be from open play as well. But it looks like Marlon's ready to step up again to take this penalty. Can he get his second of the game from the spot and slot it home? He does. Goes the other way this time. Uh, and it is 2-0 Barcelona. Um, Donyar Marlon with this second goal. Finally getting that. Um, with an XG of 2.97, that probably tells you exactly how the game's going. Uh, with Marlon not quite finishing all of his chances. But he's got to both penalties just before half time as well. It's quite a nice time to get the second goal. No real concerns. So let's take a look at the tactics and what we're going to do. Um, we could take Akamak off, uh, bring Dembele on, because I don't think he's actually played almost at all this season. Um, I've been wanting to try and get rid of him, to be honest. Uh, otherwise, we'll leave it at that. Daniel Marlin has finally got his second goal. Hopefully, he'll be able to get one from open play <laughs> and not have to rely on penalties. But ball in. Bellingham's ball is punched clear. He does come out to stand on the centre of, of the pitch. Nico into Gabby, who's then able to play it back. But we're, we're moving the ball very nicely. Looking out wide now to Zinchenko, whose first time pass to Daniel Marlin. Again, he can't finish. What is this? That is ridiculous. He's, it, it was almost, how can he not finish his dinner there? He's literally just passed it straight to the keeper. Gone, no, I don't only like scoring penalties. Gavi, ball in. Lenglet at the back post. There you go. Lenglet scores. Oh, no, it might be offside or something or a push or, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it could be offside. I can't see around the mic. <laughs> but, yeah, there you go. Oh, wow. We I can't believe we're going to end up winning this just on penalties. Oh, no, it is count. It does count. It wasn't offside. I don't think it was. I think that was a bit of a weird decision. But Lenglet with the header. Good header at the back post. Quite comfortably heads that home. Um, and that makes it three with 30 minutes to go. Very, very easy game so far. Let's see if Marlon could actually, you know, score from open play. So we have brought Ndicka on for Nico. And um, Aguero has gone up top. But... It means nothing because uh, that's it. That is full time. 3-0, such a comfortable victory. Um, hopefully that again, like I say, that will take us into next season with a very, very good result. We've got two years still with them, remember, as this is only halfway through the other year. So we get two full years with Barcelona, which we'll probably make the most out of. Um, they're a top, top club, and hopefully we can get a couple of trophies in the bag with these guys. Um, but we will be coming back at the beginning of next season. Uh, that's for sure, with some few more options as to what we're going to do. Um, De La Fuente prefers Marlon to Haaland. Are you freaking mad? He can't finish his dinner. Why would you choose Marlon over Haaland? Um, okay, well, that just shows. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's just lies, isn't it? You're a goalkeeper coach. Let's jump into the season review, though, uh, and take a look at how things went. And here we are, Barcelona's end of season review, 24-25 season. So, we have we have obviously only come in halfway through the season. So, we haven't been able to make full uh, anything too indicative of what we want to do. But um, we have made a few signings. Uh, Alejandro Pozo came in for them and was already here when we arrived. Same with Ndicca, Lindelof, Marlon and Digne. Um, and Damsgaard as well. The only signing we really made was Jude Bellingham. 118 million. Um, I mean, yeah, he was great. I think he was a great sign-in, to be quite honest. Transfers out. Uh, Sergio Busquets went to Spartak Moscow. And to Fatty off to... Oh, I was going to say, no, he didn't. He went to Sevilla. But he's obviously then moved for 300k to Spartak. 
um, after only playing three games. I mean, that's not bad. I got Sevilla some money. There you go. I'm trying to be nice to my old club. Um, as you fact, he went to Man United for 153 million, which is a bit sad to be honest. I was kind of hoping he'd still be here, but he's he moved on. Pjanic, we did move on ourselves. Um, he's older. Lots of wages. We could use them differently. Anu Tenas as well. He went from us. Sergio Roberto, another player that we sold to an old club. Um, Ricardo Horta went for 30 million, which was an absolute. I mean, we did a great deal there. Great for us. 30 million for him. Brilliant. Ferran Torres, I was a little bit gutted to see go to Dortmund, but in the end, not too much to worry about. Marmol left as well as Puy, um, Rick Wee Puig. He's, he left before we joined. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alonso as well, but again, nothing to worry about. And then Sanz left for Zaragoza. But let's jump into it. So, fourth in the table they wanted us to qualify for the champions league which we did do um and in the end pretty comfortably seven points clear uh, and you can see at the end of the season we got into a bit of form so hopefully that carries on now into the rest of the year um reach first knockout round for the champions league which they did do we didn't beat man united but i think next year could we could go a little bit further um season results for the spanish cup we got to the final unfortunately losing on penalties to valencia which was a shame would have been nice to to get the win but get a trophy in the first season but that's fine uh and again we <laughs> we lost to our old club sevilla in the semi-final of the spanish super cup um which i guess in like our second game in charge so that tells us everything you need to know um barcelona Biggest win. We weren't in charge, but it was a 6-0 one against Lyon. Uh, match to remember was the 6-0 win against Legand. And then goal of the season came from Nico against Man United in the Champions League. Uh, finances wise, lots of money coming in for the sponsors, but reductions everywhere else, which isn't great. Um, so that might affect us next year. Uh, good 38 million merchandise sales, which isn't bad. Uh, and then also Pedri, Bellingham, Memphis, Gavi and Gabby all being the top shirt sales how did we line up uh, so Horta obviously played a lot before he left because he didn't he played nine games what this is stupid um letting letter Aljo Pozo Zinchenko to Stegen De Jong Gabby Pedri Akmak and Gabby I ignore Horta that's stupid um Ronaldo Araujo was Flans player of the year young player was Pedri signing of the season Jude Goal of the season, Nico. Top goal scorer was Gabby. Uh, Pozo got most assists. Uh, player of the match awards was Araujo. Uh, and highest rating and most pass completed and all that stuff. Um, Spanish League Young Player of the Year was Gabby, which was good. Uh, and European Golden Shoe was Gabby Barbosa. Um, who again, he just scores goals for fun. Great, great stuff. But there you go. We will leave it at that. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think we should be doing next season uh, with Barcelona. What our goals should be. I'm hoping, I'm thinking we can win the league next year. But we'll see how that goes um, after pre-season. But thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will catch you in the next one.